I've lost sleep over this man. I've cried over this man. I don't even know this man. This is not a game. This is not for the camera. Y'all can take y'all can take whatever you want to take. This is reality, y'all. That's not justice, y'all. That shit is not right. And then they have the audacity to say, I'm trying to have compassion. Who are you having compassion for? Not the black people in this state, in this city. So now what happens this weekend? When the word gets out, what really happens? So what do we do? We reboard up stuff now. Is that what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna take the streets off and make a mockery of us once again. That's what they're gonna be scared of. We got memorials all over the city, and this is what we're doing. Twenty-two point five years, two thirds served, seven years, and I keep saying that for a reason. I need every my people. What up, though? We back with a with a special edition of all black men need therapy. My name is Chief. And I'm Bell. <clears throat> I don't know. It's crazy how like that that was you know naturally try to I try to bring more energy in the beginning of it, but um after listening to Homeboy, like some people are really bent out of shape and taken back by the by the uh, sentencing given to Mr. Derek uh, Chauvin in regards to the George Floyd case. Um, Bellhead, you said it was twenty two and a half years. Yeah. So here's excuse I mean, me, 20, give, me, give me the details. Of which, yeah, tw so for those who haven't, well, but I would imagine you've heard by now, but <clears throat> Derek Chauvin was sentenced to 22 and a half years. He could have got 30. I guess I guess there was potential for him to get 40, but um, he was sentenced to 22 and a half years. The minimum sentence guidelines are, are is 15, but in this case, the prosecution, um opted to double it based on the four counts, uh, four additional counts. So they didn't double it, but they gave him 22 and a half. And the guy that you just heard is upset because he only has to do two thirds of that sentencing, you know? And it's crazy, man, because like I personally know people who've done more time than that, personally, you know, right. for less lesser yeah. crimes. You know, so, here, so it's, here's, it's just here's the catch. Crazy. Here's the catch in that, Bell. In in regards to Peanuts trial, dude was the dude was convicted of first degree murder, and he got 22 and a half years, with another five for the gun. So he's doing 27 and a half to life, with the option of parole after 27 and a half. But obviously, given the circumstances, he probably we won't get out. We won't know until you know. So he got 27 and a half, and, a half and he gets parole at 27 and a half that means he got to do his he whole sentence no no he has yeah he has the option for parole at 20 he's got 27 and a half years to life with the option of parole after 27. So basically, oh the the life part you left out okay so he has yeah, yeah. served at 27 and a half yes and he has right. an option for parole right. after that but i again given how he responded in court that day and all like this stuff i doubt that'll happen so what will happen is well I mean, we I'm saying about him but what'll yeah, we, we actually have somebody. Yeah, we have somebody on, on the ground there, guys. So we're going to uh, kick it to our, our correspondent, Ashley, real quick. How cool is that, though, yo? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. How are you him. doing? What's up, Ashley? Good. How are you? How are you? Well, there's a general consensus out here that justice was not served today. Um, right now, we're standing outside of the Hennepin County uh, court system. Um, and we have some folks gathering behind me and they are discussing the trial that just happened. Um, and to your point, like you guys were just saying, they know people who have done more time for uh, crimes not as severe as this one. So uh, a win for the community of Minnesota here today. Any, any chance we can get a conversation with a, with a black man out there and let him know what we're doing and just see how he's feeling. I mean, I think that'll be pretty cool. Like to talk to somebody and see, and see what their, what their raw emotion is in the moment. Definitely. I know we Let's saw go ahead now. Down, down, down this way and see if we could talk to. Yeah. If, if you get them, Ashley, we can bring them in later, uh, too. Um, yeah. but, um, 
But yeah, man, it's it, it's crazy. Again, I, I I have mixed emotions though because I feel like, um, I don't know. I feel like it's better than I expected. Right. You know. Right, right, right. But it's still not what it should be. So for you know? me, again, for for me, because of my experience with that specific number, like it, it, it almost feels like justice. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what, from what I know of, of, of that situation, 22 and a half years was like, oh, that's what it is. But having to serve right. two thirds of it, mm, different different story. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we gotta, and we what, gotta. What I've heard from the crowd here, guys, is that they're very upset about that two thirds and then he's up for parole. And also that the, uh, the judge himself, you know, had some sympathy for Derek Chauvin. Um, uh, uh, people of color here feel like, you know, they're more deserving of, uh, of support sympathy. at this time. Right. I, I would say this, though. Be, be, please be aware that the, even though that two-thirds mark is up and he, he has the option for parole at two-thirds. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying at the two-thirds mark he's getting out. Like, he has the option for it. So... There's yeah, still potential for him to serve the whole 22 and a half. It's, it's, yeah, but the likelihood of him serving the whole 22 and a half is, is slim to none. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not parole. Like, he only has to serve two-thirds of the sentence. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So it's not like he, like, based on what I understand, he if he doesn't go in there and hurt anybody and create any egregious acts, he'll get out in 22 and, excuse me, in 15 years. That's two thirds. Right, that's what right, right. I, that's what the, the uproar is about, because there's people that are convicted of, of of drug trafficking with more time than that. You know what I mean? Right. And that's and that that speaks to the you know the inequities, right? With the sentencing and and depending who you are and things like that. Uh -oh, what's, going what's, the on overall, there, what's the overall mood like that for Ashton? Like, is it like does the, does the space feel somber? Does it feel like does it feel angry? Do, do you feel like riots and protests coming, or is it just more disgruntled people in the moment right now? I honestly just get the feeling there's more disgruntled people at the moment right now. Um, mm -hmm. I think if he got anything less than 22 and a half years, it would have been a different story, maybe. But um, it seems very peaceful. I think people are just very somber right now. They're not happy about the two thirds right. serving. So that's the general consensus mm -hmm. over here. I think this is this is actually really cool for us, Bella, to be able to like tap into this particular moment and go live. I almost feel like a real life news correspondent, but it shows you know the level up of all Black Men Need Therapy podcast. I would love to talk. Well, to we like are journalists now, but whether you realize it or not, right? Like, is this, is this, is it, doing... did we just cross a threshold just now? This is this is journalism, you know. So okay. This is pretty cool. Ashley's the resident expert. We just ride her coattail for now. We'll get there for sure. We can, we can do that. Um, so Bell, how as from a from a therapeutic or you know, black men need therapy standpoint. How is this? Has do you think this will impact you mentally? It, it impacted me listening to um the uh not testimonies but the words of his daughter they had a video of his daughter his both his brothers spoke you know and and they, the one of his brothers i'm not sure which one it was he, he made a good point he said anything short of a life sentence isn't enough because we got served with a life sentence right we're never gonna see george again you know and his daughter man it was just she was a kid you know, she just in her head, she's like, I just want to play with my daddy again. You know what I'm saying? And like, and they were like, well, what, what do you want to do specifically? He's like, I just want to play. I just want to like, oh, he said he used to help me brush my teeth that night. Like, like stuff like that. It, it was just tough. That part almost got me. Like even talking about it right now, it's just almost getting me. You know, um, right. that part got me. Um, his brothers, you know, like that was tough to hear too. His nephew spoke, like everybody, everybody, man, that's one thing I'll say. I would have had way more anger than them, way more. Like they were very composed and um, yeah.
Yeah, so I don't know. Again, I, I think I, I'm going to have to sit on yeah. it just because I have some. What, what, one sec, Chief. Ashley we'll, we'll, we, Ashley, we'll let you get back to it over there. Get back, tap back in with us if anything else goes on. But we'll let you get focused on what's happening over there. We really appreciate it. All right, guys, yeah, I see, will. Thank you. No doubt. Bye -bye. I'll see if I can find someone to talk to. That'll be okay. dope. That'll be dope. So, yeah, man, I think just because I'm 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 a little, you know, slightly connected with this process that it hasn't it hasn't hit me yet. I mean, I, I did feel an abundance of anger when I went through it. So I can I can empathize with, with George Floyd's brothers and aunts and, you know, nephews and sisters and daughters and all that. I can I can definitely empathize with them because there is an anger that come with this shit that people really don't understand. But um, it, I don't know. I'm not really it hasn't necessarily impacted me mentally i think this is the part where with my particular involvement in a situation like this i've compartmentalized it so i haven't really tapped into it since then so it hasn't impacted me yet but i think it'll walk up on me yeah, it's, as it, i process it's almost on. too it's almost too like you for you man it's like you can't get no worse than what you've already experienced right right you and know that, what i'm saying that's, so, that's, yep. Yep. so it's like like again i'm i'm not happy with the 22 and a half years I think it's much better than than I expected. I um, but I but I, again, I know drug traffickers, man, that have, that have, that have gotten more time than that. And I'm not even talking right. about cocaine traffickers. I'm talking about weed traffickers. You know what I'm saying? That that's got more time than that. Like it's, it's crazy. So, and then and then it, and then it go. It go. It goes back to the topic, man. Like was was justice served? And you know. I guess short answer, short answer is yes. Short answer, um, because it also set a precedent. You know, I, I don't, I don't know, and I could be wrong. Somebody, you know, chime in on the comments, but I could be wrong. But I don't know that a police officer who killed a black man ever got this much time before. Right, and that's you know? the thing, though. Given, the, given, given the circumstances, we're supposed to just kind of you know, take the win per se. You know what I'm saying? Like this is supposed to be considered a win for us because it hasn't happened in the past that we know of, you know what I'm saying? Or to this to this degree. So for us to yeah. get a conviction and then have a sentencing, like, you know, it's, it, as fucked up as it's going to sound, it's like, yo, take that and be happy with it. At the, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's, 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 it's better than what we've experienced over the past course of a few years, you know what I'm saying? There's yeah. many and many of, of black men who have been killed and with, with no consequence whatsoever. The parallel to me is we want an anti-lynching bill passed, but we're going to give you Juneteenth. So take that and be happy. Right. Yeah, so take that you and know? be happy, right. And that's, yep. You know what I'm saying? Take like, yeah, well, it's a happy. win. It's a win, but it's not the one we wanted. That's probably a better way to say it. It's a win, but not the one we wanted. Like we, 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 the, a win of 22 and a half years, um, justice would have been, justice, again, it's all relative. I think, I feel justice is served in comparison to what's, what we've experienced. For this particular crime, I don't think justice was served, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? You think you, you think the overall consensus of the country says justice wasn't served? Do you let me rephrase the question? Do you think you, you gotta you gotta uh, speak you gotta you gotta ask specifically for different groups? So this that's what I'm saying. Like, of course, we gotta make this yeah. a race. We gotta make this a race thing right now. Do you think white people are upset or police officers are upset because he got 22 and a half years and they felt it should have been less? So that's what that's what the um, defense attorney was saying. Like he was saying. There's gonna be people who, or actually it might've been the prosecutor. There's gonna be people who feel no matter what his sentence is, it wasn't enough. And there's gonna be people who feel it was too much. You know what I mean? Like, again, I'm only comparing this to people in my personal life and what I've experienced as a black man. So mm -hmm. in my opinion, it wasn't enough. Right, like you got to think about it, right? You 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 talking about Peanut? The dude who killed Peanut was 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 that was first degree murder, right? That's what he was. That's what he was uh, convicted of, 
right? This yep. is second degree, second degree manslaughter, right? So did those it might, crimes? It, it might have been second degree. It might have been second degree. Okay, so then that, then that's more compar comparable if it was second degree, you know. But even if it was uh, it was a manslaughter or was a murder? Do you remember? It was murder. It was murder. Yeah, this is man. This is manslaughter, right? So murder murder means it was intent. So that's a different charge than this, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, and and obviously both. Um, oh, so yeah, I, I'm hearing in my ear that uh, Chauvin was actually convicted of second degree murder. So either way, second degree murder. Okay. Yeah, either way, I don't feel like it was enough. Um, again, I'll take it. I'll take it, but I don't feel like it was enough. And I don't think it's, I think it's just yeah. enough to cause us not to write. Right. And uh, uh, it, it, but my thing is, that, so is, is, there, is there some, huh? I said, we've been corrected. I think it's, I think it was manslaughter. Um, oh, you know what's so cool about, listen to y'all. It's so cool about the doc because we done leveled up a little bit. We got producers in the air and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? We got, we got correspondents on the ground. You dig? Hey, yeah, hey, we're we, we big enough our producers in our ear, but I didn't got three different answers just now. Se right, second yeah, de second degree, <laughs> second degree, and third degree murder, and second degree manslaughter. So it's both. So we're both right. Oh, uh, okay, um, okay. So yeah, get your shit together. You guys out here looking bad as a unit. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's, it's the whole kit and caboodle. But um, oh, but anyway, my well, point is, man, I think it was just enough. It was just enough for us not to um, uh. Oh yeah, right. that's my point. That's my personal opinion. So, do you think is there? It, I mean, I know this is this is far fetched, but is there somebody behind the scenes going? We got to do something. We don't want these people tearing the neighborhoods up again. We got to do like. Is what there somebody? Mean, is there behind somebody the behind the scenes, bro? There's always listen, bro. What do you think systemic racism is? Is somebody? It's 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 everybody. Right, like that, like that's how that works, man. It's, it's there's people that keep order, right? And now, before they could do what they wanted to us, you know what I mean. But now it's a different time. Like they can't do what they used to do to us, so they got to do just enough so they can feel like everybody wins. You know what I mean? And it's like nobody's gonna be happy in this situation. Like you said, the people on the Chopin side, they're gonna think that's too much time. You know what I mean? People on our side, we don't think that's enough time, but they issued enough to keep the peace, right? That's the thing. Do I, don't, you I don't think anybody do you anything some shit going anybody on? Anybody yeah. while nah, I don't think so. I don't think so, personally. I'm in a big city, so I'll tell you. You know, like they boarded up last time. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't personally feel like it. Um, again, it's enough to keep us at bay. It's like everything else, right? It's enough to keep us at yeah, bay. We, Juneteenth, even, enough to keep us even at bay. Even then, even even then, we ain't even then we ain't the violent one. You know what I'm saying? Like we ain't storming the Capitol. That ain't us. We stand in the street, we stand reality, in the street the screaming. Brother. Yeah, no, no doubt, no doubt. I mean, so no, no doubt, I, I, I agree. So I think. Um, go ahead. Shout out! I mean, shout out to us. I think that, you know. I want to apologize too because I'm not. I'm not fully abreast of of what took place. I was shaking and moving before as as the uh, verdict was being being uh, given. So my partners had to catch me up. But I think that also attributes to the the liberties we have here of being authentic and being spontaneous and like trying to do something. This is real cool for us to just like go live for such a you know a, a, a momentous occasion in terms of you know the, the society we live in right now. So I think it's pretty cool for us to, to tackle this right now and and. Where do you think we go from here as a society? Again, I think that, I think you know people, where I stand. I you think, know where I stand. It's like it was enough, but it wasn't. It, it was just enough yeah, but I, to keep the, keep the peace. I think, unfortunately, George Floyd has now, George, the George Floyd situation scenario has now become the milestone or the the, the, the front runner, the face of social justice in terms of police brutality. And I think bearing 
keeping this situation in mind is going to now make or at least shift some of the thought processes that go through police's mind when they when they when they find themselves in these situations. I think it'll they'll they'll, they'll well, be I, more so aware yeah. of yeah. yeah. I, I more agree. aware of I the potential. When, No, when, I'm saying when you be more aware when you of the sen- potential so, repercussions that can happen to their own lives. Right, right. When you sentence one of theirs, be it as it may, even 15 years, right? Obviously, we know it's 22 and a half, but they're only going to serve 15. Be it as it may, 15 years, that's going to give you pause, right? right. Like, you got you to gotta think in the back of your mind, like, we just can't keep killing these niggas and nothing's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? And, and, like and that pause. Yeah. They they yes. they done got away point. with murder, literally, in a lot of cases. But now it's almost like, look, man, the jig is up. Right, and I think that pause that that they take allows some of us to make it home, and that's ultimately all we want to do: is fucking make it home, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. We'll, we'll, whatever whatever the case may be, we'll take the charge. We want to make it home, like. Right. As, as as fucked up as it is, we'll you know we'll every, deal with the every repercussions. Every encounter don't got to be a death sentence, right? Especially over you know a ticket, a, a busted wind, a busted headlight, or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like we just want to make it home, and and I think this now. I don't think it does anything for the for the black man mentality or for the you know the minority mentality when dealing with police officers right now. I think we're still. I mean, because at the end of the day, super on edge. Yeah, because at the end of the day, yeah, he got 15 years, 22 and a half years. But to your point, we like, <laughs> if justice will be served, right, it'll be after we gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, if yeah. we in that situation, yeah. Yeah. George Floyd yeah. had to use, lose his life, right, for us to feel like we're getting closer to justice being served. Right, that's a hell of a sacrifice. Right, George, is, you know? is it is it is it fair? Is it fair or conscionable to label George Floyd as the martyr for social justice? Yeah, for change. Yeah, I think so. Martyr for change. I think yeah. so. I mean, yeah. so may he may I he rest so. in peace and understand that unfortunately his demise has now created a, a an international movement to change and dig into systemic racism. And police yeah. brutality. Let's, let's give our um um final thought. Yeah, let's run. Let's give our let's give our final thoughts, man. Um, he's obviously sentenced to twenty two and a half years. Um, I don't. Again, I don't think it's enough, but I think it's enough for us to uh, be okay. I don't think it's enough for us to be um, to feel validated, right, as equal beings. And one of his brothers even said it. He was like, "If, this, if the shoe was on the other foot, this wouldn't be this wouldn't even be a discussion." You know, but right. that's my final thought, man. I feel like we're getting closer to the we're getting closer to being how crazy is this going to sound? We're getting closer to being equal. You know, we're getting closer to being equal. But we're not there yet. Well, there's gonna be a it's gonna be a long way to go, and unfortunately, after I agree with you, it's gonna be you know after our our, our own demise that we start to they, the people start to see some change. So, I guess yeah. my final thoughts are as as fucked up as it's gonna sound, and I know we don't want to do it. We find you know be let's be thankful that he got something because you know what I mean we were we weren't anticipating this. So let's be, you know, let's, yeah. let's let's take this and, and and let's take this and keep driving and keep keep you know hammering the nail in for effective and efficient change so that our people can stop being murdered by police officers. So let's take yeah. the win, but we ain't done. How about that? Let's take let's take let's like take that. this and understand we're not done. I like that. You know what I mean, so with, with that being said, this has been a a special edition of a uh, all black men need therapy. It would have been real dope to kind of talk to somebody but we'll, we'll we'll find something unfortunately in the future that we can really 
you know, get on the ground and correspond with, with the people in real time. But uh, we appreciate y'all for tuning in. Hit us up, All Black Men Need Therapy, on all social media outlets, All Black Men Need Therapy at gmail.com. And in light of this moment, I think it'd be good for you to hug a black man today and tomorrow. We out, y'all. Peace. Oh, 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 yeah.